Hi, Adidas here. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to set up a program where each of the MIDI zones, 1 through 8, is set sequentially using MIDI channels 1 through 8. All right, let's get started. So first off, if we look at the RD, we have the different zones in here. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. These are all the zones. Now, if they're red, that means they're doing internal. If they're green, that's external. So if I'm working with external instruments, I might want to have all these green, and I might want to also have the MIDI channels match the, mid the zones that are inside the RD. So here's how we do that. First off, I would go Shift, and I would turn all of the internals to externals. If you see on the screen, everything is external now. So go all the way down. Now that I have that, I'm going to go ahead and go inside. So shift, zone edit, hit that button. Great. And now we can see uh, what's going on underneath the hood. So I have a couple of different things I can do. I can go, go through all out of all of the MIDI. So that would be all MIDI out one, MIDI out two, or USB. So that's entirely up to you. That's something you'll have to know. So for our example here, we'll leave it to all. And then this is something you can change as your needs arise. So this is more about making a template than uh, real specifics. So now we're going over. If we look now, MIDI zone one, two, three, four. And here we go. Here's the problem. So we did the externals. They're all external green. So defaulted to one, two, three, four. But then when we get to five, it also went to one. Very easy fix. Just put it on five. Put this on six this one on sorry on seven and this one eight so now this particular program is set up to work with externals be it inside the computer or inside an external midi box such as the roland integra now i hope you noticed that we can change any of these so if i go back to number one we can change these to any of the 16 midi channels so it's entirely up to you but for setting this up as a template this might be a nice way to do that so once again i went shift in here and you can see each one of them is now in its own zone now let's go ahead and save this very easy so let's press right and i might just leave this external except i might say instead of external one i'm going to call this program so or you know what, let's call this external temp. So that way we know this is a template that we can use uh, when we're working with external MIDI boxes or also DAWs. And then uh, if we want to go ahead and make changes, we can resave it as something else. So if I'm working with main stage, I might resave this as main stage. Or if I'm working with Logic or I'm working with uh, the Integra 7. So let's go ahead and just call this temp for template. So now that we have it named, let's go ahead and press the enter button. And I'm going to put it in a different bank. I'm going to put it in bank N and press enter. Are you sure? Just making sure I'm not overriding the program. Yes, I am sure. And now it's there. So now if I exclusively want to work with a DAW or a sound module and not use the engine of the RD2000, I'm all set to go. I've already set up everything for external and I've already made sure that all of the zones match sequentially the MIDI channels associated with them. All right, I hope this helps you out. You guys take care.